Hey babes, I'm here today for skincare. And whether you're a Caucasian or you're African American, you should still use sunscreen because the UV rays can be harmful to your skin, especially if you have dark marks on your face like I do. They, um, the sun tends to make them darker and more permanent. So the sunscreen that I have been using is by Cost RX Vitamin E Vitalizing Sunscreen and it's 50 SPF. So I use that and I make sure that I put aloe vera gel underneath it to protect the barrier of my skin. And the barrier is the outer layer of your skin, your face. So I put the aloe vera, with aloe vera gel is, aloe vera is also um, a good sun UV rays repellent as well that is safe and natural. So putting the aloe vera gel underneath is very wise so that way what's in the sunscreen won't penetrate and cause irritation okay now if you've been here with me from the beginning you'll notice the difference in my skin excuse the shininess with the ring light and um I'm shiny anyway because of what I have on my face, but the ring light just makes it worse. See, I don't, that's not enough light. So at night, what I use is um, the CeraVe Hydrating Foam Oil Cleanser because I have oily skin and oil picks up oil oil picks up oil so by my having oily skin the oil the squalene squalene oil is in it known to help retain moisture the oil lifts up my oil with water so when i wet my face um, I wet my face and then I put the soap, the foaming oil soap on my face and it lifts the oil out of my skin, which is awesome because by it helping me retain the moisture in my face, it keeps my face from feeling cracky and dry after I wash it and it doesn't feel tight. Um, it doesn't feel tight. It says cleanses without leaving skin, without skin feeling tight or disrupting the skin barrier. So this also um, helps with the outer layer of your skin. So after I wash my face with that, I put my um, aloe vera gel and then Vaseline. So I have vitamin E that I put on my face for my um, dark spots and also I put niacinamide serum on my face for the texture of my skin because I have the little crater holes you can barely see them now there they go see I have crater holes I don't mean to be all up in you like that but I have little poked looking crater holes which also, I found out are a form of scarring. So the sunscreen is best for me, even though I am paranoid of putting stuff on my face because my skin is so sensitive that it breaks out or it gets irritated. But um, this sunscreen right here, I got it from Walmart. Excuse my nails. I'm not Walmart. Excuse my nails. I got it from um, Amazon. I like Cost RX because I use their snail mucin as well. And um, I trust um, COS RX. I trust that brand um, on my face. And I put the sunscreen, a little bit goes a long way with the sunscreen. And um, 
I put it on my head lightly, a light layer. And I also put it on my face. I put it on my face first and then I proceed to put it on my head and I sit in the sun and I let the coloring of my head be in. Okay, so here in Ohio, um, we haven't had many sunny days, but recently we have had sunny, warm days. Um, and those days I like to sit in the backyard um, and let my head get some sun. So um, it feels good and I feel much better knowing that I have the sunscreen on even though I wasn't raised using sunscreen at all. I, I don't, I personally don't know anyone in my family or anyone that I know personally that wears sunscreen. And um, so I'm hesitant of it and I'm not familiar with it, but so far so good. My face has not broken out from it. And um, it does, it is um, not drying because when you put it on, it gives you like a glow. It's kind of like um, a creamy, a creamy, lustered, <laughs> lustered texture. It, it had like the pink oil moisturizer lotion. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's kind of that texture. And um, um, I actually fell asleep with it on one night and it didn't cause any breakout or anything like that. Um, I always top everything that I do with my face with Vaseline. And contrary to popular belief, I have oily, acne-prone skin, and I still put Vaseline on my face, as you can see. <laughs> I still put Vaseline on my face, and it does not break my face out. It actually has helped my face and has been my miracle go-to recently since I've been bald, and um, it helps. It helped reconstruct the texture of my face. I put Vaseline on every night on top of everything else that I put on my face. And in the morning, I don't wash it off. What I do is I'll take the back of my hand, which is clean. I'll take the back of my hand and I spread it what's left on my face, I spread it with the back of my hand so I'm not as shiny. Um, but everything that I put on my face is still there. And if it wipes off while I'm asleep, what I'll do is I'll put my um, aloe vera gel on the spots that are um, dry from, well, not even dry because my face still is moisturized, but where the pillow or just my sleeping has wiped the Vaseline off, I'll put the aloe vera gel on and spread it. And then I'll put Vaseline over it again and spread it. And then I'll use the back of my hand and um, spread it. I'm so shiny. And I don't mind because I know that um, it's really what my face needs. And by my having oily acne prone skin, my face makes oil. But what I've recently found out about my face is the fact that my face makes oil when it's dry. It sends a signal to whatever hormone is in control of that to make oils secrete from my face because my face is dry. But since I've been using the aloe vera gel and Vaseline on my face, my face doesn't make as much of the not so good oil that comes out of my face because clearly whatever secretes from my face that is oil breaks my face out my own oil breaks my face out so as long as i keep my face moisturized 
throughout the day, it doesn't make as much of my not so great oil from my face. And I'm able for the Vaseline barrier to be over my face and might not break out as well as protect my face from right here, the outside world, as well as protect and let everything that's underneath, like the aloe vera juice, my um, vitamin E, my niacinamide, it lets everything under there be protected by a non-chemical layer to let it all absorb into my face. And it feels so good to be a person that is so used to acne prone skin to now be at the place in my life where I have no hair on my head to hide my face or even to be a positive distraction for my face to present day where I have no hair on my head and my face is finally clearing up and it feels so good. And if anybody has Anything that they want to ask me in regard to this, um, I got this from Walmart. It's at Walmart, and um, I also saw it at um, Drug Mart. If you have Drug Marts, um, you just have to look because it's more common than I was aware of. But I absolutely love this oil wash because... Instead of using the harsh chemicals to wash your face, it acts. If you've ever heard of oil cleansing, I've done that in the past. And that is awesome too, where you use oil to wash your face. You put oil in your hand and you rub the oil all over your face. You do that for at least 20 minutes and you'll see little balls or 10 minutes, whatever point that the oil starts to um, rub the dirt off. The little dirt particles from your face, you can actually see them when because oil removes oil. That's why people use oil-based um, products to remove their makeup because the oil in the makeup is lifted by the oil that you choose to um lift the makeup with so by this being a wash with oil in it, it is so awesome it says gentle foam and it does it does have a gentle foam but it's not it's not so much of a foam that um it's not that much of a foam but it is a foam and you can it there is a slight foam and you can also feel the softness of your skin in contact with your hand and the soap. So if anybody has any questions in regard to um, what I use for my face, I use um, Cost RX snail products for my face. I use snail mucin and I, um, I slather the snail mucin on my face with the Vaseline and the aloe vera gel and Every day I see a difference in my face and I'm so appreciative of it. And I'm here to share it with um, everyone that either wants to change their face care, their skincare routine and or add um, to it. And also this is for those with acne prone skin that has... Um, no hair on their head and wants to get their face together i still a progress for me as well but it's a whole lot better i'm appreciative of every and then also by me knowing that i'm clearing my face up when i get spots like these um it doesn't even bother me because I know that my face is nowhere near like, I don't even think that phase of my face is going to reoccur because of the routine that I have obtained over the past month, I'll say. So 
um, reach out in the comments and um, ask me anything and I'll gladly share to the best of my ability and as detailed as possible. And um, I'm here for it. So um, talk to you later. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.